Well, now back to our Super Bowl coverage. And whether the game is a nail biter or a blowout, you can always count on those incredible commercials. And this year's crop is some of the best we've seen. ABC's Nick Watt is just out of the screening room. He joins us this morning, came all the way from Los Angeles to bring us this story. Hey, Nick. Good morning, Bianna. Well, listen, if, like me, you don't really understand what's going on on the field, all that pushing and shoving, then your Super Bowl is about to come early because some say the commercials are even more important than the game. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, but some say they are. And they've been leaking out all week, and here are the best of them. If I give this to you, are you up for whatever happens next? I'm no expert, but this might be my favorite. I think I could do that. Ian surprised with one crazy night. How are you? Being so by Minka Kelly tonight. It was the highlight, I think, of my life. Hey, Don, how are you? The llama was amazing. It appeared to be crushed in tiny tennis. It's not that bad. And there's Minka Kelly, and there's Don Cheadle, and there's, <laughs> there's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and there's Reggie Watts and One Republic and me, and we're all on stage, and I'm living the dream right now. This is the best thing in the world. Most disgusting? One of the five finalists in the Doritos Make Your Own Commercial Contest. It's, uh, it's like a weird Dorito finger cleaning machine. You ask too many questions, Billy. Do you know that I already have 27 million views on our ads? I've already had a Super Bowl before the Super Bowl. Most heartwarming, Lieutenant Chuck Mad came home from Afghanistan. First surprise, not just his girlfriend, but the whole town came out to give him a hero's welcome. Second surprise, Bud shot it all, and 100 million Super Bowl viewers will now see it. Most intricate, a bunch of genius nerdy types gave up months of their lives to create the Doberman Chihuahua Cross, the Dober Wawa for Audi. Best at making fun of my people. Have you ever noticed how in Hollywood movies all the villains are played by Brits? And we're obsessed by power. Not everyone has released the whole thing. There are some teasers. Go Daddy tells us someone's going to quit her job in their ad Sunday night. She's got a message for her boss. And her boss has no idea. Oh, hey, what you got there? What's going to happen to Yellow? Sleepy time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't work out why they released these ads ahead of time, but one insider told me that a few years ago someone released an ad by mistake. It created such a buzz that now they all do it. And Dan, I'm watching the game with you. Yep. I'm relying on you to explain what's going on, so my oh, chances no. of understanding are <laughs> minimal. Oh, no. That's your guy? <laughs> really? That's my Final guy. answer? Oh. That's yeah. my guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you need a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I gotta tell you, the, the Dorito commercial, Ew, how is that weird. selling any Doritos yeah. for them? That is gross. That is so gross. It's <laughs> questionable that that's airable on TV, <laughs> but we yeah. just did it. Yeah, I, I know, I, exactly. I'm waiting to see Nick Watt in a commercial. Perfect star. Well, don't look at me that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy enough here, Bianca. Thank you, Nick. We'll see you tomorrow night.